when you get popped for murder and you've got no cash. The public defender's office clerk, the guy who picks your lawyer, he decides if you live or die. Most public defenders are bums. Mine? Mine look like a tiger. Mr. Hoffman, I'm Noah Levine. I've been appointed to represent you. Have a seat. Thanks for coming down here so fast. They told me I wouldn't be able to see anyone until this afternoon. You're charged with murder, Mr. Hoffman. No time to waste. So, Larry. Can I call you Larry? Yeah, that's cool. Larry, before I talk to you about the facts of your case, I'd like to explain the attorney-client relationship. Have you ever been in jail before? Yeah, let's see. This is my third time. So you've had a lawyer before? <laughs> Twice. Yeah, they were both idiots, though. All they wanted me to do was plead guilty. Oh, we're not pleading anything, Larry. We're taking names and kicking ass now. I don't know what these other lawyers told you, but with me, anything you say is confidential, OK? I mean, you could tell me you killed 50 people and buried them all in your backyard. That stays between you and me. Listen, man. I did not kill anyone. I know, I know, Larry. I'm just saying if you did, I could give a shit because I'm your attorney and my only job right now is to clear you of this murder accusation. All right. Well, your job's gonna be easy then because that accusation's false. Well, I don't have any police reports yet, but didn't the papers say there were witnesses? Yeah, that was from the other day when I kicked O'Malley's ass. Yeah, there was a fight. No, man, it wasn't a fight. I, I just smacked that motherfucker around with the lead pipe just to let him know I meant business. Oh, you did this in front of witnesses. It was damn straight. It was a lesson. I had to teach them other little shits what would happen if they ever tried to keep any of my money. Money? What money are you talking about? This stays between us? Larry, it would be highly unethical for me to tell anybody anything you say to me in confidence. I mean, even if I told my family, I could face disbarment. Well, then the money's from selling dope. Those motherfuckers are my dealers. Got Jamal and Porter and that little bitch-ass O'Malley. O'Malley was gonna be short. Porter told me about it, so when they came to come and pay up, I just I smacked him around a little bit just to prove my point. And what exactly did you tell him would happen if he held back any more money? You gotta be short of me Jeez. again! I will kill you! Hey. I told him I'd kill him. Larry, that's what I was afraid but of. But I didn't do it, man. I mean, someone else did it for me. And you don't have any idea who? No, man. I mean, O'Malley was asking for it, though. I'm not the only guy he pissed off. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you're the only guy that threatened to kill him in front of witnesses. <laughs> and it doesn't help that O'Malley was beaten to death with a blunt instrument. Listen, man, I did not do that shit, and that's the fucking truth. Okay, Larry, I believe you. But I think we're going to have to give the jury something just a little bit more than your word. Now sit down. Now, you uh, got any kind of an alibi for the time of the murder? I don't know, man. When was it? Saturday morning between 2 and 3 a.m. Wait, wait. Did you say Saturday morning <laughs> between 2 and 3? That's right. Oh, man, I must be living right. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a great alibi. There might be a slight problem, though. Like what? What if my alibi involves something illegal? Well, that could present some difficulties, but uh, don't forget you're charged with murder, Larry, and you're facing a possible death sentence. <sighs> you're right. Uh, besides, that bitch would never testify against me. Bitch? Who are you talking about? Oh, this bitch who was in the movie. It was uh, Angie something. I can't remember her last name. But she was just some runaway we picked up at the bus station. Um, I don't think I'm following you, Larry. <sighs> all right, look, man. Selling dope ain't all I do. It's kind of tough to make ends meet sometimes, so... I got this other little deal going on the side with a couple independent video stores. They've, they've got some special customers, and I make these, these movies for them. What kind of movies? Adult movies, like pornos. I film them at this warehouse, and I dupe them, and I sell them to these few guys. You know, some jackass has some crazy fantasy. Larry, 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 what the hell does this have to do with an alibi? I 
on Saturday morning, between two and three, I was doing this rape thing for this guy. A rape thing. This guy was real specific. The bitch had to be a brunette. She gets lured into the bedroom. <laughs> surprised the first time I hit her. If you beat this girl and you raped her, what makes you think she's gonna testify for you? That's the good part, man. We don't need her at all. See, I filmed this shit in the warehouse, all right? Me and my guy Rodney, we both worked the camera. And you think this Rodney guy's gonna admit he did that? <laughs> no, no, hell no. I mean, he's a drifter, man. He's long gone. I have no idea where that guy is, no. The thing that's gonna save my ass is the TV. See, this guy wanted two guys doing that, all right? So I took my turn second, which was between two and three in the morning. And you can tell because of the show that was on the television. See, the TV was on the whole time. It was right next to the bed. You can see it in the video. You can see me in the picture, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you worried about being identified if the police see that video? <laughs> see, first of all, this bitch is long gone. She was so scared, man. We, we told her what we would do to her if she ever went to the cops. She's probably fucking Alaska by now. See, second, man, you can't tell if that shit's real or if it's fake. If anyone says anything about it, you can just tell them I was acting and no one could prove otherwise. So how do I get a hold of this thing? It's at my house. I was gonna dupe it and sell it to my guys, but I was pop for wasting O'Malley before I had a chance to. There's only one copy, huh? Yeah. We better act fast. I wanna get that thing in my safe before it's too late. Here, give me your address, and I'll send out my investigator to pick it up. I gotta say this, man. I was scared to death I was gonna get another asshole for a lawyer. But you, man, you are good. Larry, save the congratulations till all the charges are dropped. Now, what about that video? I think it's in my bedroom closet. It's probably on the top shelf near the front. There's a lot of tapes there, so you're gonna have to look for it, all right? It's labeled Angie's Delight. Thank you, Larry. I'll be in touch. Hey, uh, you're gonna let me know if you get that videotape, right? Larry, I'm not about to let an innocent man sit in jail for one second longer than necessary. If we can pinpoint the air date of those videos, and you're in the picture, I think you're home free. Long, your court appointed counsel. I'm so sorry I would have been here sooner, but you wouldn't believe my day. First, I get caught in Judge Bryce's courtroom. Then, just when I thought I could get in to see you, there's this emergency at the office. Anyway, I'm here now, so let's get started. Wait a fucking second. Where's Levine? Who? My lawyer, Noah Levine. The guy who was here this morning, he, he said he was court appointed. He knew all about my case. I'm Noah Levine. I've been appointed to represent you. We don't have a Noah Levine in the public defender's office. I guess there could have been a screw up. It happens all the time. I'll just I call and check to make sure there aren't two lawyers. Of this murder accusation. They told me I wouldn't be able to see anyone until this afternoon. Anything you say is confidential. I mean, even if I told my family, I could face disbarment. I was doing this rape thing for this guy. A rape thing? I can't remember her last name. We told her what we'd do to her if she ever went to the cops. I'll just call and check to make sure there aren't two lawyers working on this case. I think we're gonna have to give the jury something just a little bit more than your word. Get me home soon, Dad. I will, Angie. I will. No 
Don't forget you're charged with murder, Larry, and you're facing possible death sentence. I make these movies. That stays between you and So me. there's only one copy of it. I want to get that thing in my safe before it's too late. It's labeled an Angie's Delight. Now, what about that video? Absolutely. I'm not about to let an innocent man sit in jail for one second longer than necessary. I have to do all the work on this. Uh, it's a murder case, right? <laughs>